Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Obsolete Techie. On this episode I would like to talk about the BFG GeForce 4MX4000. Yes, you might remember this car from the video I made for June, uh, for GPU June. Well, I want to revisit this card again because I was having issues with this card. If you've seen the last video, some of the games that I played were having major graphical issues. One of the viewer pointed out on the version of the driver that I was using was a newer version. And to be honest, at the time of recording for the GPU June, I only tested three drivers. All were newer drivers and I had the same issues with the games I tested with. So mostly in this video we're going to be recorrecting or correcting the test I made for that GPU June video. I also grabbed two more video cards to compare them with. Uh, as you can see here I have the uh, GeForce 4 MX4000 from MSI and the second card uh, GeForce 4 MX440 and this one's 8x so this one's from an unknown brand surprisingly the cards are, are performing differently from one another and I would like to make a video about that and uh, compare them all of the three of them but for the purpose of this video, we're only going to concentrate on the BFG GeForce 4 MX4000. And we'll do it with the different drivers I was able to find online. So let's start with this video by installing the video card. Okay, so let's talk about the drivers we're going to be using on this video. First of all, we're going to be using drivers 56.64, driver version 67.66, driver version 71.84, and driver version 81.96, and lastly, uh, driver version 93.81. I also want to include another driver that I use uh, to install Windows XP which is version 56.67 and these drivers were on the install CD for Windows XP. Now these are the scores that I got from 3D Mark 2000. As you can see here the highest one was uh, version 56.73 and um, the lowest one was version 93.81 with the score of 56.22. Now the earliest drivers that can work on the GeForce 4 MX4000 is the 56.64. I guess this is because it came out later than the MX400 series and uh, yeah well, for some reason earlier ver uh, versions of drivers will not work with this card. Now the first game we're going to be watching is Citizens of Kabutu.
Next game we're gonna watch is Tomb Raider 3. And the next game we're going to be watching is Star Wars Racer. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see, some of the drivers work better than the others, and some have serious problems with the graphics. For example, the drivers 67.66, 71.84, and 81.96 made the game look terrible with missing textures and weird lighting. These were the drivers that I used for GPU June in my video. You can see how bad they were. On the other hand, the drivers 56.64 and 56.67 were stable and smooth and they didn't have any issues with the graphics. The last driver I tried was 93.81 and it was a nice surprise because it worked well with most games except for some minor glitches on Tomb Raider 3. Of course, I only tested three games in this video, so there might be other games that have different results with these drivers. If you want me to test more games with this card, please let me know in the comments below. Now, I learned a valuable lesson from this experiment. Always try different drivers until you find the best one for your card. I know that these cards are not perfect, but I wanted to show what they can do. This card is a variant of the GeForce 4 family, the MX4000, and it came out later than the MX400 series. The earliest drivers that I could find that would work with this card on Windows XP was 56.64. Now, I'm not sure if this is where the support starts for this card, but for Windows 98, the earliest drivers that I found was 53.04. In my next video, I would like to test and compare these three cards that you see here in front of me, how they differ in the performance and compatibility. Stay tuned for that and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. I will see you next time.